So I was inside of the Notion Ambassador Slack and I saw that recurring tasks are now available on Notion. So of course I had to jump on and record this video, walk you through it. I have to still figure out how it works myself. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've learned so far and let's get to it. Also, I'm gonna be launching a Notion course this 15th of November. So if you're watching this the week before, you should sign up for our free webinar below so you can get first access as well as uh, just sign up for the waitlist. And if it is past November 15th, you can also sign up for the course down below. So. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna be walking through this new update to Notion. I don't think this is gonna be the end of updates when it comes to re recurring options. This is kind of a first step in recurring. And I think that there'll be a lot more options I think in properties coming soon. But I just think this is a very exciting thing because this is probably the number one most requested thing on Notion. So make sure to subscribe for more Notion and ADHD and marketing content below and let's get started. Okay, so I officially got this to work for myself with recurring tasks, which I'm so excited about, and I'll show you guys my reaction to that. But I wanted to also mention that this is specifically for templates. So you have to make a template in order for this to work. Now, this is different than other ones I think I've seen where it you can like change the status back to new. This actually adds a new item. So basically it's adding a new item every time. So depending on how often, and you have to have a specific date and time. So what I did to test this was I tested it five minutes out and saw that it actually turned and added a new item. It was very exciting and I'll walk through that. First, I'm gonna be walking through specifically the documentation from Notion and then I'll show you guys how I set it up myself. I'm gonna be walking through the Notion page first and then we'll cut over to how it works inside of Notion. So this is, basically the new feature automate work with repeating database templates so basically what this does is it allows you to have a recurring whether it's weekly whatever you want inside of notion so you build a repeating template once and it will create database entries automatically so this is really helpful specifically with something like meeting notes right so they basically have given this as an example so database templates allow you to pre-populate pages in a database like your weekly sync meeting notes. Every heading, prompt, and bullet point is outlined and ready to go. You can even tag folks who always attend and label it with the right category. So basically, you can have different templates. So this is a little bit different than maybe what people are thinking. This isn't a status. This isn't a recurring thing that will pop up but it is something that can pop up every day, I believe. I'm still kind of like trying to figure this out. But I will walk you through kind of what I feel like you could use it for, and we'll just kind of walk through it really quick. I definitely am going to be doing some more videos on this, but it looks like you can change it here. So create recurring tasks for things you do on a regular basis. Set a recurring template in your task database once, and you can trust it to always appear on your to-do list when the time comes. So I think that one is going to be a lot more exciting for me personally than the task, or sorry, than a like meeting note one. So we've got down here, this is again more of like a template update. Schedule recurring meeting notes for regular meetings. That's also really cool. Build repeating templates anywhere in your company. So the one that I'm like really interested in is this. So within the tasks, re create recurring tasks for things you do on a regular basis. Set a recurring template in your task database once and you can trust it to always appear. So one of the things I recently did was I actually was gonna create like separate databases for like weekly tasks and daily tasks. Now I don't have to do that. I'm gonna be moving back, them all back into my to-do list. Maybe I'll do that with you guys so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But yeah, so I, I just wanna walk through that really quick because um, it can be a little bit confusing and I'm still trying to like figure it all out. Um, but let me just show you guys an example of this. So I actually went over, this is my personal tracker but I actually have down here, I had created these two that I was like about to start doing stuff with them, but I'm like, nope, we're moving these back. So for me, these are the things I do on the weekly basis. So I'm gonna move all of these back into my to-do uh, list. So that's this one. So that was all the weekly recurring to-dos. I also had the daily to-dos, which I'm going to uh, move as well. These are just things that I have to do every day move to to do so I'm curious because there are a lot of things that I do right on a, on a daily weekly basis I'm curious um, how that's gonna work so for example clean dishes let's just give this an example so 
I'm actually going to add the little thing here. Um, let's see, dish. Uh, let's just do this. So let's just say this is an example. Clean dishes, right? So let me go up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click new. You're going to click on new template. And then I think this is where you'll get started. I don't think you can turn one into a template currently. So let's just call it um, clean dishes, right? That's something I got to do every day. So let's just find a dish. I'm just going to do this one. This is part of home and household. I'm assigned to it. Priority is probably high. All right. Um, I did that not work. Okay. So remove that. So now back. All right. So now I've got clean dishes here. And then when you click on here, this is where you can change it now. So you can click repeat on off. So I'm going to click every day, right? So every one day, and I'm going to create it at, let's do it at 136 because that is um, in a few minutes, right? So I want to see if it pops up, right? So if it's two minutes from now, I want to see what happens. And I'll let you guys know in about 10 seconds. Guys, did you see that? It just came. It just came. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it just showed up. Look at that. It just popped in. So one thing I might, would probably want to do is change this to, okay, so if I changed it, it would be tagging the date. So the, so the today, right? So that would be something that I do so that people know that that is like the date. So it would show the date on there. So if I didn't clean the dishes yesterday, et cetera. Oh my God. This is so cool, you guys. Did you see it just like came out of nowhere because I scheduled it to go live at the time it was supposed to. And I, I'm shook right now. I'm shook. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'm probably going to be doing more content, but I wanted to make this video and, and show that it actually works. So in order for this to work, you have to make the task a template down here. So I would make a list of all the things that are recurring and make them templates. You can obviously create templates inside of here as well. So they can be recurring down here. But for me, I like to do them in the main database and I'm just going to go crazy. I probably do a part two on this in a longer video, but I just wanted to jump on here live to see if it worked and it did. And I'm super excited. So anyways, I just hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to join us for um, the launch of my online course and let's just see how this goes. It's so exciting.